Welcome back in another Adobe Illustrator tutorial from Kavtalk. Today we create realistic neon light effect in Adobe Illustrator. In this video you can use color dodge on another level. You can apply this to any form you want. First of all you need to create document in RGB color mode. In CMYC mode the result will be different from RGB. Let's create rectangle using rectangle tool. Fill with a gradient. The color of the gradient can be changed at any time. We use a radial gradient, but you can also take a linear gradient. Now let's make our objects that we want to make neon. It are Rectangle Tool and Ellipse Tool and Star Tool. To achieve a triangle, click twice on Star Tool and change the number of points to 3. Round the corners of the triangle a bit for example. Now let's line them up for convenience. Change the fill to the stroke. Increase the stroke as much as you want to increase the neon glow in the volume. Make a copy of our objects just in case, so we can use them again. Expand our objects. Remove the check mark from the fill. Apply to objects offset path. As far as you want the glow to expand, make this value. Now use Blend Tool. Don't change anything here. But I forgot to change the color of the internal objects, so I'll do it now. Double click to select the desired object and change the color, the same for the others. So as not to suffer so much, it is better to set the color immediately after using offset path. It must be white color. Apply to Objects Blend Tool and Make. There seems to be a gradient here. Now go to the tab Transparency and choose Color Dodge Mode. That's great, that's what it's all about.
We can change the color of the background gradient, which changes the color of our objects as you want. We can also combine any objects to achieve a result. I have shown you, my dear viewers, how relatively easy it is to create beautiful neon effects with any shape. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of new videos waiting for you. Good luck! And if you have any questions, welcome to the comments.